Free. Welcome to Science Hub. Today, we, my colleagues are Shireen Taylor. Today, we'll be discussing classification to Kingdom Animalia. In Kingdom Animalia, they have characteristics. Some of its characteristics are that they are multicellular and they are eukary eukaryotic. The second one is that their cells have no cell wall, have no cell wall but have cell membrane. Also, all the animals are heterotrophic. When it comes to Kingdom Animalia, they have two films. Philam Chodata and Philam Anthropoda. In Philam Anthropoda, their characteristics are like they have segmented bodies, they are ex exoskeleton, they have an open circulatory system, and that their reproduction is sexual and with the internal fertilization. In Philam Anthropoda, we have different classes. This class, Crustacea. In class Crustacea, we have examples such as crabs and crayfish. We have also class Chilopoda. In class Chilopoda, we have an example which is the centipede. The centipede has a, an abnormal segment and a pair of legs and it also has poison claws. We also have class Diplopoda. In class Diplopoda, we have the centipede. We have the, the millipede. The millipede has a cylindrical body. We move on to, we move on to class Insecta. In class Insecta, we have animals like the bee, the termite, the butterflies, the grasshopper. In class insecta, in the, the body of the animals has is divided into three parts. That is the thorax, the head, and the abdomen. An example of class insecta is that. We have an example of this grasshopper. As you can see, it has the head, this is the head, and then we have the thorax, which is here, and the abdomen. As we said, we are discussing class arthropoda. This grasshopper does not have a backbone, which makes it fit into the class arthro, uh, class phylum arthropoda. So the general characteristics is that, as I've said, their body is divided into three parts. That is the thorax, the head, and the abdomen. The next thing is that they breathe through spiracles, like the grasshopper. It has, like when you look at its abdomen very clearly, there are spiracles at the side which help them it it acts as the respiratory surface then the next thing is that they have one pair of antennae uh, and then they have three pairs of legs moving on to class arachnida we have animals like the spider the scorpion and the ticks an example is that here we have a spider this spider is a representative of the class Arachnida, whereby their, their characteristics is that they have four pairs of legs. As you can see, we have the first one over here, the second one is here, the third one is here, and the fourth is here. It's meaning that even on this other side, they have four legs, which makes them to be eight. So that this spider belongs to class Arachnida. Then they lay eggs in. Then each each leg at the end of it has two claws, yeah. And then class Arachnida, they don't have antennas and yeah, they use book lungs for gaseous exchange. So we have come to the end of our discussion today on Science Hub. I've been Lisa Wairimu, Shadi Manesi, Shivain Taylor, Kipita Limu TV, Watch and Learn.